Hi, I'm Ryan Ehlers with the Technical Service Department at Marlow. Today we are going to do part two of the NXT2 conversion for the 3150 and 3900. These valves require additional steps because of timer location on the back plate. Here's a list of tools you'll need. Quarter inch nut driver, hammer, flathead screwdriver, a smaller Phillips, a punch, and some hard surface like a block of wood to do a, use the punch. On the 3150 we're going to now mount this NXT2 timer. Make sure that you install your two screws on the top two holes of this bracket. We also have a location for the pin hinge. Mark 3150-3900. We're now going to mount the hinge off the NXT2 timer onto the back plate of the 3150 here. Make sure you still have your screws that you took off from your old timer and we're going to use those top two holes. Quarter inch nut driver or, or flat edge screwdriver, go ahead and install that. Get your second one on there. that started screw that on in there and then your timer bracket is now mounted. The manufacturer provides these additional parts for the NXT2 timer conversion installation on the 3150 and 3900. The installation can be performed with or without these parts. I will show you both methods now. On 3150 you'll notice we have two plugs in the back plate here. We're going to pound that lower plug out. That's where the timer pin is going to go. And go ahead, pound that out, and then go ahead and pull the plug out. Okay. We will now mount our NXT2 timer to the bracket that we mounted on our back plate of our 3150-3900. You can see on here we have a location, 3150-3900. So we got to make sure our hinge goes in that location where the arrow is. So we'll go ahead and put that on. it in. We will now close our timer just to confirm it hits the hole and it locks into place. You can see it snaps in there nice. The remaining installation steps are covered in part one. We are now going to cover the installation of the NXT2 timer using the additional parts provided by the manufacturer. On the 3150 valve there's two plugs. We're going to take that lower plug out, pop it out, and now we're going to go to our Velcro and punch a hole in it. There's two additional Velcro dots that are provided. We're going to punch a hole in one of them. Punch your hole in there. Once the hole is punched, we'll just have to put the screw in there. Put it in the center of the dot. And you're all set to go. On NXT2 timer, you'll notice we have this pin. This has to be removed on this unit. We'll take our screw with the Velcro on and we'll screw it in where we removed our pin. Go ahead and screw it in. It's a small Phillips head screw. Go ahead and screw that in. So now we'll install our other piece of Velcro. Go ahead and remove the backing. Put it over the center of that hole. Go ahead and stick it on. We will now mount the timer to the bracket. This concludes our NXT2 timer conversion on the 3150 and 3900.